Hello and welcome again to Tony's Kitchen and today classic English dish with a bit of a Tony twist really. Liver and bacon, look at that, lamb's liver, half a kilo of lamb's liver, one pound two pence, can't beat that. I've got streaky bacon for some extra flavour, also got some back bacon but streaky bacon is business there. My favourite potatoes, you know these are my favourite at the moment potatoes. And with the potatoes, I'm going to put some hot chilli powder and paprika in a little bit later on to give them a little bit of a, of a bite. Liver and bacon, um, I'm going to do a red pepper and pink onion gravy with that. Very rich, maybe even a little bit of pork in there as well. Oh, uh, again, I'm just going to show you how I am panning the uh, liver. Panning means just coasting flour and whatever you want really. So the flour and seasoning I've got in here, so I've put them in the flour. Get this spoon, and I use a spoon because I don't want to get my hands all wet because they can, they, you get proper big globules of flour on your hands. I'm just going to literally sprinkle the flour on top like that, give them a bit of a shake, and then pull them out like this. And that's it, ready to dip into the pan, like going into a hot frying pan. And it'll still beautifully give you a lovely coating to your liver, and that's how you pan it. Okay, I just want to show you the bacon I've pan there. I don't know if you can see it under the light there, um, but the bacon's going to be pan and crispy as well. And also, where is it gone? Hold on a second, I'm coming back. There you go. I put the leftover flour and seasoning mix just in a in a cup. Can you see it in a cup? Put a bit of salt on over that and I can save it and pan it anything I want later on. So don't waste it, save it. So, um, meat's ready. Let's have a look. Potatoes are in the oven and just the veg to do now. So, just literally going to fry up the liver now. A bit of olive oil and butter as usual. It won't take long at all to cook up these, won't So, um, I'll literally pull them out just before I finish making the sauce. And the sauce will be quite simple. But as always, loading tape. See the, the blood starts to come up, you know it's almost cooked on that side when the blood comes when the blood comes to the top. Well, now get the bacon in too. Pan a back bacon I was doing. There you go, look at that. Bloody gorgeous. That's it. When it's ready, we're back to you soon. Okay, the potatoes are halfway done now. I don't know if you can see or not. I've just coated them lightly with some paprika and some hot chili powder. I've also found a little bit of chorizo in the fridge, so we're definitely going to have a little bit of a Spanish feel to the sauce. And um, we're almost ready to start cooking the meat. Potatoes go back in, and we're ready to serve in about 10 minutes, I reckon. Now I've put in the veg, and I'm putting some streaky on top. I'm just going to cook that off quite slowly. And then I'm going to take that pan and deglass it with a little bit of port, add some cooking liquor, make a lovely jus, and then eat lemon bacon. It's going to be good, Will. It's going to be really good. Alright. I'm going to use a pop of what's in there as well. Let's use a spoon. That's what I'm talking about. Chorizo in there. Bacon, lovely, lovely, lovely looking. It's going to be gorgeous. What do you think, Roscoe? Looking good, isn't it? Mm. Oh, Will, smells, mm. smells, it smells. It smells beautiful. Mm. It's really, I'll cook down for a little bit more. It's the soft bacon, add the crispy bacon. You know what I mean? It's really good. It's a shame they can't smell what I'm smelling. Mm. 
I know Roxy speaking, Shanky can't taste what she's smelling. Mm. Okay, almost done. Back in five. Okay, people, I've cooked off the veg, add some port to the glass pan, didn't set fire to it, just put it in there. Add some water, then treat with a little bit of bisto granules on top. So it's nice and thick like this it is now. It's lovely and thick. Want it really thick, you do. And what I'm going to do now is add these back in there for a few minutes and we're done. So literally, there you go. Give it a stir, let them sit in there to warm up a little bit and we're finished. So our living bacon is complete. Okay people, so I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's our finished dish. Here's another one. Oh, look at that one that way. But what I want to show you is our uh, half a kilo of liver has hardly been touched. So that's proper mm, dinner for tomorrow, lunch for tomorrow, another concoction to be made. Anyhow, um, yeah, treat fast and it's going to taste beautiful. Liver and bacon, turn this kitchen style. Cheers.